to yet another tutorial. My name is Carolina and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful dress using my new sewing pattern called Amber. And for that project I'll use this double gauze printed fabric. Recently it's been one of my favorite ones to use, especially when it comes to summer dresses. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description for the pattern if you want to check it out. To start, place two front body panels together, facing them right side to right side. Pin the top edge and make a stitch half centimeter from the edge. Then sew the panels at the center front, one centimeter away from the previous stitch line. Trim the corners and bag out the panels. Use scissors or a pen to make the corners nice and pointy. Fold the other side of the bodies inside by half centimeter and top stitch the top edge one centimeter from the edge. Next, we need to prepare the drawstring straps. Fold the strap piece in half, right side to right side, and sew them together so they are not wider than one centimeter. Trim the seam allowance if necessary, and bag out the straps using a loop turner or a safety pin. Use unpicker tool to push edge of the strap inside for a nicer finish. You can also fold the edge twice and top stitch, or simply tie a knot at the end of the strap. Insert the drawstring straps into the channels using a safety pin and make a secure top stitch at the end. Trim all threads and extra straps for the finish. Smooth out the panels using your hand and pin them together. Then mark with a pin, place for the stitch, change your stitch length to the maximum and make a stitch at the bottom of the front panels. Moving on to the bodies, sew together three front panels right side to right side and repeat the same steps with the lining. Fold thread to create ruching on the bottom of the cups and pin them to the right side of the bodies. Start by pinning this side of the cup with a drawstring to the center front. Then, pick the other side and continue to pin the rest of the cup of the bodies together. You can adjust the gathers on the seam to match the bodies. Also, the gather detail should be directly above the joining seam of the bodies. Then sew the cups to the bodies with 1 cm seam allowance. Place the bodies on the right side and fold up the cup. Then pin the second bodies panel together and sew them together following the previous stitch line.
trim seam elements if necessary, then fold underarm edges together and insert the straps between them. Make sure to run a backpack stitch on the straps just to keep them in place. Turn bodies to the right side and smooth out using your hand. Pin two panels together to prevent them from moving and twisting. Moving on to the skirt, mark notches on the skirt a bit further using a chalk. Then top stitch the inside edge of both of the front skirt panels. Sew the skirt front panels together from the waistline to the mark with a chalk point. With the skirt on the right side, pin bodies to the skirt. Sew them together and then overlock the seam allowance. Moving on to the back panel, fold the top edge twice, first by half centimeter and then again by one centimeter and top stitch. Mark two lines 4 cm away from the waistline using chalk. Sew an elastic to the wrong side of the back panel. Depending on the elastic that you have, you might have to stretch it a bit more or less. I like when my back panels are a bit more tight, so I'll stretch the elastic as much as I can. For the measurement of the elastic at the back, I would highly recommend you to measure it yourself by stretching the elastic and putting it against your back and holding it with two fingers from side to side to see how much you need. Also as an example, I want to show you two elastics that I have and they stretch so differently. As you can see, elastic would only stretch about 40% of itself, whereas the other one stretched so much more. My elastic, for example, for the UK size 8, will measure 25 centimeters. Insert the elastic to the channel using a safety pin, then make two secure back tack stitches at the end. Place back skirt panel on the right side and pin back bodies to the skirt, right side to right side. Sew them together, then overlook that edge, and then sew an elastic to the seam allowance. Turn front and back dress pieces together, right side to right side, sew the left side together and then overlock the seam allowance, and then overlock the right side of the dress separately. As one of the last steps, add invisible zip to the side. 
then right side of the zip to the right side of the dress and then do the same with the other side. Change their zipper foot and sew the zip to the side seam. Then continue to sew the rest of the side seam together. To finish up the zipper, fold the top edge over and make a small back tack stitch. Then overlock the hem of the dress. With dress on the wrong side, open the split seam and fold the seam allowance by 1 cm. Then continue to fold the hem. top stitch hem and split. Remember to make a secure back tack stitch at the top of the split to prevent a seam from snapping while walking. Measure 5 cm from the side seam on both sides and mark the position of the straps. Make sure that the straps are not twisted and sew them on the inside of the back panel. And that's it! Your own perfect amber dress! Thank you for watching!